Good morning again. So uh, Dave Davis from uh, DVS, CTO here. I'd like to uh, run through the fisheye with you because a lot of people ask us questions about the fisheye. You know, what benefit are they? How do they work? So let's go through that a little bit. Let's just have a sip of the coffee out of the Transformers mug. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll web browse into our fisheye camera. We're looking at our demo room fisheye camera. It's a 12 megapixel fisheye camera. Uh, they're available in 6 and 12, both internal and external versions. So uh, we'll definitely be able to uh, help match your installation type. What we do here, when we web browse into the actual uh, camera itself, the first time you do it, you'll be asked to install the plugin. It's quite a specific plugin to allow us to do the de-warping on the web browser. So we, once we've installed that, we, we log in and we see the live view from our fisheye. On the left-hand side here, you've got software and hardware tabs. Now, software is web browsers to support de-warping. The hardware tab, if we click on hardware tab there at the top left, this gives us options how we're going to hardware de-warp this if we're adding it to an NVR. So what I've done is selected my mount type, so ceiling, wall, or tabletop mount, and then I've selected it for the whole fisheye. So on our NVR inside the demo room, this is added as a 12 megapixel single fisheye view. Now I could change that to panoramic or, or four, PTZs or a fisheye with three PTZs. So there's different ways of, of adding this device depending on how we want to use this on our installation type. But we'll just go back to software type and we can explain the de-warp inside a little better. Just click on that. So under the display mode there, we select a ceiling mount, wall mount, or tabletop mount. So standard fisheye view, everyone's very familiar with this view. Then if we go to the 180 panoramic view and the software type, this will change the de-warp type now into a two split views. You know, so again, you could split the view up this way. Instead of top down, it's 280 degree split views this way. Again, it's very up to you. Then we've got the next view. It does take a little bit to load. It's the it's a 360 degree split over one screen. So it's like a very bended de-warped view. Probably not what most people would consider to be a usable image, but there is there. Then we've got the PTZ. So we can move this around here and de-warp it. So it's a virtual PTZ now. And again, we can do that with three. We can put six in there. We can put nine in there. You can split it over a double screen this way. Or well, my personal favorite is the fisheye plus three PTZs. And this works the same live your playback using the actual VS player. So the VS player takes this interface, so it allows us to do this on playback or live uh, on the IMS 4200 will allow you to do this. The IMS 4500 uh, mobile app will let you de-warp live and retrospectively. Uh, but the VS player after playback, so after the fact, will still allow you to do this, which is where this becomes as, into its own technology. So we've got the fisheye in the top left-hand corner and three PTZ views. So we can simply drag these PTZs in any way we like. And then we can, so we're on playback now, we're de-warping it, you know, as areas of interest. And you'll see as we move the camera views around, the box will, at the top left-hand there will follow the view, indicated view. So it allows you to quickly see the area you're covering. Um, or you can just drag this box around as well and it'll do the same as moving the PTZ below it. There is digital zoom as well, so if you select the view, what you have to bear in mind is depending on how the camera is set up, the digital is digital and optical, but it will allow you to then digitally zoom in a little bit as well to get a little bit more detail. Now with the field of view down. Um, so then we can choose um, from our uh, digital zoom there, or we can actually choose our mounting type there. Hardware, again, is like I said, is for how we add this to the NVR, how we want the NVR to receive the streams, the de-warp streams. Most people would choose to add just the fisheye stream at its full resolution, so you get the benefit of the better de-warp on playback, and it only takes one channel up on the NVR in that case, so your channel count remains low. Um, but then you've got under, so that's the actual, how the de-warp, I hope that is, you know, shown some sort of benefits of using the fisheye technology. 
but again we can actually go further with this technology if we go into configuration and we install an SD card into the camera product itself so under storage this already has an SD card in there it's uninitialized so what we'll do is uh, initialize that in fact what we'll do is yeah, let's format it now. Click on OK. It does take mm, a minute or two to format. It's quite quick. It's only a 32 gig. So you can see there's, uh, there we are, done. A heat map configuration. So what we can actually do with the heat map is if we enable um, heat map, so this is available on the 6 and the 12 megapixel. Uh, what we do is put an SD card in there, configure that. So we come into the heat map configuration, we enable heat map, and then we can draw up to eight areas. This area one is the whole screen, but you can break this up into smaller areas, into say aisles, so you don't get anything around the aisles, you just get aisles specifically up to eight areas. But for purpose of demonstration, I just leave it as one big area. And then you can set some parameters below that you can speak to DVS Technical on, and they'll uh, help explain what these parameters generally you actually don't need to alter these parameters but we, we can alter them if we're getting some sort of false negatives and then what we'll do then is we can turn the heat map in functionality so it's on 24 7 and notify surveillance center what that actually does is it allows us and the application at the top here and if you add this product to an nvr the nvr can also get this data so you're not specifically just having to log into the uh, fisheye camera itself you can get this from the nvr um but it does allow you to use the fisheye as a standalone product and, or get it directly from the product sh should you need but what you do then is under daily report weekly report monthly report annual report you'd select the report select when it starts from the heat map data starts from click this and that will generate a heat map the sd card has only just gone in there so unfortunately you do have to wait something actually this probably be quite critical to, to note is once you uh, enable heat map function uh, on the camera if you're going to get it from the camera directly or directly from the nvr you have to wait a minimum of one hour for that data to be made even if the scene is very busy and at two minutes five ten minutes later you try to get data it won't represent anything you do need to leave this for for a minimum of one hour to get the data and start outputting it into a heat map format which you can get again directly from the camera and then we support daily weekly monthly or annual report um so that's very much what i wanted to show you on the fisheye i hope that, that you've learned something about the fisheye technology and you may be able to find a way to implement this into your installations any further questions please let us know and again uh, if you feel you want us to make any specific videos, please uh, come and let us know and we can look at making targeted videos also.